Kerbal Nuts. Um, last week, we, uh, I don't remember what we did last week, to be 100% honest with you. We're living in a post-Grand Theft Auto V world. Um, I don't remember what we've done. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, please bear with me for, like, the next, I don't know, week while I play this game uh, that I am so utterly obsessed with that, um, uh, has eaten my life. But of course, I'm, I'm, if nothing else, I would like to think I'm professional, and that is why we're still playing. I'm not skipping episodes just because I'm playing GTA. Um, so let's build a rocket ship. You know what I want to do this this week? Let's actually, let's build a new ship. Well, let's get rid of this thing. I want this Mark I pod thing. I want to build a ship, send it to the moon. I want to see how low we can make an orbit without it crashing. That's the goal. So let's do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. So there we've got the pod. We've got an SAS. Um, we'll grab a bit of RCS. No, that's baby fuel. This was the right one. We got some RCS fuel. And then let's get a bit of regular fuel. And then let's put a rocket on it. Let's put, let's put a baby rocket on it. I feel like I should put wings on this just because that's what a spaceship should look like, right? But I don't really need the wings. They're just going to add weight. But shouldn't I? Should I not put them on? Just like right there. Just like that. That looks good, right? Maybe we can even, hold on. What can we put on there? There's no atmosphere on the moon. There's absolutely zero reason for me to put those on there. Can I put these on? No. They're useless. What are these things anyway? Those are engines? <laughs> what? They're baby engines. No baby engines. No thank you. <laughs> we'll just leave it like that. A little clipped wings. Do we have better wings? I love these wings, but they're just kind of ridiculous. Whatever, let's go with ridiculous this week. I don't have any long-term projects set up, because that takes far too much, uh, I don't want to say effort, that sounds like I'm super lazy, and I just want to be, like, regular lazy. It takes too much th thought, and I'm not firing on all cylinders because I'm a zombie because I've been playing Grand Theft Auto all week. It's such a good game. Guys, it's such a good game. Let's see, what else can we throw on here? These would be cool to throw on, I guess, right? No need for them. But you know what? Let's do it. Can we put them on the wing? <gasps> you can put them on the wing. Oh, this is going to look so stupid. I can't wait to do it. Like there. I don't think it's going to look right. What if we put them on the ends? Ends. that I'm trying to make them balance forget it not working okay so that's what we're gonna get when we're going around the moon next stage let's get a stack separator a decoupler whatever yeah one of those um, ooh, nope, we need, we need the big tanks, we need these guys, we'll put two there, I'll put the big engine, perfect, and then as always, We've got to get the radial decoupler. 
and go overboard. Let's do some um, asparagus staging. I don't do that very often anymore. So for asparagus staging, if you're new to the series, I'll explain what asparagus staging. It's like onion staging, but the next step. So we're gonna put four of these stack separators into two sets, right? And we're actually gonna split them up so that they don't separate at the same time. And then we're gonna add fuel tanks to all four of them. And of course, being overkill, we're gonna add these big ones. There you go. We'll add them here as well. It's not the most efficient way to do it, but it's a quick trip to the moon, so it doesn't matter. We'll put another set down here. We don't need a whole lot of fuel for this trip, so four should be more than enough. Maybe we could fit the half size ones, yeah, on top. Um, come on. Up, up. You had it. You had it for a second. There we go. Okay. So the way it works is it's similar to um, onion is when you just have shedding the outer layers and you're having it feed fuel from one into the other. Here it just adds another step to that and it makes it even more fuel efficient. So we've got the four. We're going to have all five engines launch at once, right? And then... We're going to have, this is going to be the first set, and the first set are these two. So these two need to empty first. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a fuel line, which would be in control, would be in propulsion. I knew that. And we're going to have a run a fuel line. Rather than to the main engine here like we do with the onion, we run it over here. So it'll feed all the fuel from here into here. And then likewise, this one feeds all the fuel there and there. And then we do from here to the main engine. Oops. So they're all firing. They're all using their rockets, but they're going to separate separately. So we're going to drop two tanks, then we're going to drop the other two tanks. Um, as far as I can tell, this is all we need. Again, we're going to call this the low rider because all it is is how low can we get and then hopefully let's see you know what we'll do hold on this is what we'll do I don't know how possible this is gonna be but it's worth a shot and then let's get a parachute on either side here. How do I... I just want this one piece. Oh, this is killing me. This is gonna drive me nuts. There we go. Just wanted to be even. There we go. So we got parachutes. Let's make sure that it's his own stage. I'll we'll drag that stage up. I don't know if we'll have enough fuel to get back to Earth, but we'll give it a shot. So there we have it. This is our ship. This will most likely have no problem getting to the moon. And also, eh, should I do lights? No, we don't need lights. Yeah, yeah, you know what? We should do lights. Especially if we're going low. So we'll just do one light on the bottom, like so. Let me turn off angle snap since it seems to be there, like that. We'll have that light. In fact, hold on. No, no, no. So we got it there. We need to tilt it like that so it throws onto the ground. And then we'll just put a couple of batteries on there. We don't need to have something that recharges it. Although, we'll do both. Here's what we'll do. Utility. We'll get some... Uh, I know I could use like a, a generator, but I'm not really a fan of those. So we'll put a battery here. And then what we could do is we can line this with solar panels. We'll just do a 
singular, and then we'll just we'll like line this. There we go. We don't need a whole lot, it's just to power a light bulb. Okay, let's launch. Let's go to the moon. Again, if you have like a crazy mission idea, preferably something I could do within like a couple of episodes. I've thought about doing like big, big, super long term, like building a colony on the moon. Um, but one, I'm not nearly good enough at this game to do that. Two, it would take months to do. All right, launch. Wow, we're gonna have so much fuel. We might get into space with these large rockets. So as you can see, these two are losing fuel faster because that's part of the asparagus staging. We're gonna drop those stages faster. Looks nice. What do we have over there? We landed something? Oh right, the rover test. And then there's more. That's where we crashed our rover. Good times. Okay, we're slowing down our ascend. Oh my gosh, we didn't use struts at all. I did not strut anything. How is this thing in one piece? This whole ship may fall apart in the next few minutes. How did I forget the most important and vital step to any rocket launch? Look, you can see it. The rockets are spreading out because they're emptier, so that they're more prone to the forces of the actual rocket. But notice it's only the two on the side there. Oh, I should have strutted this thing. Oh, this is bad. Look at them. That's not what a rocket should be doing. Let's make the turn and just hope that we don't need those struts at the end of the day. The wings, I don't know what they're playing into this, how they're playing into this, but... Okay, let's power this up and get some speed. Adam Kerman is on cloud nine. I can't blame him. I'd be too. Overheat. Uh oh. I'm less worried about the overheat. I'm more worried about this ship ripping itself apart. We're doing good. Doing really good, actually. Wow, we're doing great. Okay. Let's set up this. Might even be able to get ourselves straight into hitting the moon. Up, up, up. There we go. 30 second burn. We got that. Get ourselves in position. The wings are completely useless. We are now above the atmosphere. They serve zero purpose but to look cool. So in other words, they serve a very important purpose. Okay, let's speed up time, get to that node. And fire. We are going to lose the fuel in these side tanks in a moment, so at least we will not have to worry any further about the lack of uh, struts. We're in orbit. That's nice. Our estimated time has changed. It's okay. We surely have 30 seconds of... 
fuel here. So we should be good. Doing good. Look at that view. Got our light. Light's working. That's good. Good to know. Oh. Almost done here. All right. That'll, uh, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's speed things up. How much fuel do we have left? Oh, we've got a ton of fuel. I think it's safe to say we'll be able to get them home. Ooh. Oh no, what happened? What happened? Whoa, okay. My computer sort of like bugged out on me there for a second. I was afraid I was going to end up like on the moon or something. Just crashed. There's Laddie doing its thing. We want to get... Laddie's what? At an altitude of 60,000 meters? We want to get really low. We want to get as low as we can. Okay. Am I looking at the ship? Is it upside down? There we go. There we go. There we go. It's about to snap closed. So here's what we'll do. Periapsis is 120. Let's speed up to that. Hopefully we don't crash into Laddie at all. I wonder if we can see Laddie. Or if maybe he's too small. Laddie we would see right here. You think we could see it? Where are you, Laddie? Laddie's just a tiny little blip, I imagine. Yeah, I don't see Laddie. Then again, look, I can't even see us now, so... I think it's not unfair to say that we shouldn't see Laddie. Okay. Again, we'll get into retrograde. Let's get this apoapsis in as much as we can. We want the lowest orbit we can without crashing in. We want to be skimming the dirt. Got to be careful with this, though. Periapsis at 60, apoapsis 190, 30, 20, 8. Let's stop at 8. So here's what we're going to do. Speed up things until we get there. And let's see if 8 is enough. It's going to feel like we're going to crash because we're going to be extremely close to the ground. Thirty, twenty-nine, ten, nine. All right, we're coming up on it right now. We could go even lower. Why does it sound like whales? Let's pull this side in. See if we could go lower than eight. Let's see if we go like five. Slowly. Six. Twenty. Five. Stop. We're at four point seven now. Let's see what four point seven looks like. For that, let's go to. Prograde, so we're flying in the direction we're supposed to. Let's rotate so that we're 
facing that right way. Let's hit our light. Where's our light? There it is. Let's see if we can do it. Can I change my camera mode? It's just these two modes? Okay. Surface. What does that mean? Where are we at? 4-7. Okay. Let's speed things up. Seven, six. I mean, look, you can see the terrain details here. In fact, uh, let's try and we'll flip around when we get to the periapsis. We'll try and reduce the orbit even further. can't warp any faster because we're below 5,000 meters which is awesome there's the moon I'm waiting till we hit our periapsis to Which will be in what? A minute! Oh man! It's gonna take forever. We got a minute. Part count 22, total mass 11 tons. We're in the Mun's sphere of influence, we're orbiting. We've got a 570 meters a second velocity and an altitude of 4.8 kilometers. We're going to hit our periapsis in just 45 seconds or so. Let's see if we can do three kilometers. All right, let's start. 12, six and four, five and four. 5 .1, 4 .1, 3 .4, 4 .9, 1 4.1, 4.1, 3.4, 4.9, 1.5, yep, that's it. Let's spin this sucker around. I don't know if I want to send him back right away. I kind of like the idea of him just skimming the moon all the time. There we go. I want to change the camera so bad. But it's still at an orbital camera. Uh, it looks like we're going to strike a mountain. Is that what we're going to do? Is that what that is? That point right there? In three minutes? No, we should be fine, right? We're in space. We're in orbit. We'll be good. 500 meters. I think we're good. If we see the ground light up, that one we should worry. But I think otherwise, we're going to wait it out three minutes. And we'll see. That said, we still have plenty of fuel. So I think getting back is no problem. I mean, the line is intercepting that mountain. Yes. It does look like we're going to hit it, but I, um, it does look like we, that might be the case a, a little bit here in general. I think we're good though. Is it that mountain? No, it's not that mountain. So we're good. You could always just point to the skies and. fire up. We'll be good. What bugs me is this camera view. I really want to get a top down and I'm sure you'll all look at me and be like, there's an easy button for that. There's also this, which is cool. But you can't see the ground from it.
because we're always pointed up a little bit. I don't know what they're saying. We're going to hit something. and What? Were we? A minute and a half? Do you see a mountain 90 seconds away? I don't. I think we're above everything, so we're good. Do a barrel roll. Woo! We're on the moon. Those wings are really... Can I detach these wings? They're useless. Um, maybe that mountain is looking kind of big. No, but look. We're clearly... Look at all the space. It's right there, so we'd be seeing it at that point. We seem to be good. No, wait. Yeah, look, we seem to be fine. Or are we? No, wait, maybe we're not. Maybe we should... Oh, God! We were not. We are not good. <laughs> there was a mountain there. Uh, there was a mountain there. Okay, well, we've learned uh, 4,200 meters... It's too close to the ground. Um, thanks for joining me for this silly little episode. Like I said, hopefully once the fervor of Grand Theft Auto re um, resides a bit, I'll be able to focus more on my Let's Plays and put some more thought into them. Um, certainly we won't go crashing into mountains like that. mountain came out of nowhere. They don't put lights up or anything on the moon. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have an idea for like a, a mission type or an experiment, I'd sure love to hear it. Um, I hope you have a fantastic week. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it. And um, I hope to see you all here next week for the next episode of Kerbal Space Program. Bye, everyone.